Muy buenos días. Welcome everybody. Bienvenidos todos to our second day of our Dia de los Muertos Festival here at the National Museum of the American Indian. My name is Ronald Woodman. I work at the Smithsonian Latino Center and we do lots of work with this museum all the time. Actually, I want to um, recommend that you guys check out our exhibit up on the third floor, Ceramica de los Ancestros, appropriately titled for this weekend, Central America's Past Revealed. Now, we're about to see a great performance now by a local group called Los Tecuanes, and I'm going to pass the mic over to Jenny Vargas, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the performance we're about to see this morning. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is the presentation of the dance of the Tecuani. La danza del Tecuani es una representación única y singular de la lucha que libraban los habitantes de los pueblos del sur de México en su lucha por sobrevivir. The dance of Tecuani from the Nahuatl Tecuani, the one who eats people, is a unique and singular representation of a fight that took place in small towns in southern Mexico. Through their way of dancing, the original dancers sought to scare away anything that could represent any danger to their families, their belongings, or even their religious beliefs. The greatest of these dangers was the jaguar. This animal had a special significance in all Mesoamerican cultures. It was given divine attributes. For the Tequani dancers, it was a necessity to catch and kill the fierce creature. This dance is performed not only during many religious celebrations as an expression from the dancers, but is also represented at any cultural events they are invited like today's celebration of the dead, with the only purpose of promoting one of the many traditions of Mexico. The opening piece of this presentation will start the same way it originally did. Dancers will go on in a procession to their place of adoration. They will make a reverence to their god, asking for strength and guidance and their quest of going after the jaguar to hunt and kill it. Hope you guys enjoy it.
sower is a very typical dance in traditional farming villages. The dancer makes movements with their feet as the real workers in the fields would when the se sowing season would come. The dance for the sugarcane harvest is a piece that tries to represent the actions and moves needed in that farming activity. Dancers jump happily as if carrying a bundle of cane sticks on their shoulders.
The Dance of the Baker is a dance that pays tribute to a traditional and appreciated office in small towns, the Office of Baker. Performers dance happily around a hat that represents the basket that will contain the bread.
Great, and thanks. Uh, give it up again for Los Tecuanes, who again are out in Manassas. They're a local uh, cultural group that performs often with us.